Okay, so music Camtasia now, so I have a little bit more time to go through the whole spiel with it. Uh, we're doing a kata today uh, from Dave. And the idea here is to take an array that's sorted and find out where the index is that we're looking for. We're normally just taking it as a binary sort. Nicely, in this particular kata, he has set up a whole bunch of sort of acceptance tests, unit test type things. Um, at this level, they're the same thing. But we can start with that. So I've got a test set up here. Create a new method. Uh, test the chop. And use what he has given us. Of course, what he's given us is in Ruby. Uh, so we're going to have to make a couple quick adjustments. First is the assert equals is going to move to assert equals, close all those. The next is, that is now going to make a semicolon. And the last is, well, we no longer need that. All right, so that gets us through the first thing. We have a test in here, and this passes. We've sort of done our job. So first, we need to create that function, because it doesn't exist. And its job is to return back an int. It's going to take a number that it's searching for, and it's going to take an array. I'm sorry. Um, now, normally, if we were solving this, we would just do use the tools available to us. So arrays dot binary sort number. No, it's all wrong. Uh, array and number. I believe that should pass. No, it doesn't. Expected negative one. There was negative two. Oh, okay, well, it's let's say it here. And we can check this is a local uh, position. And position is less than zero. Don't say negative one, otherwise we can say position. And that should pass. Of course, the reason that we do kata is not for the destination, but for the journey. And in this case, the idea is to get us to work through this sort of sort in an efficient way, but not using force. So just like working out at a gym, you know, the idea isn't really to lift the weights. The idea is to exercise. So let's go and approach it as if we're doing that. So the first thing is we got this chop three. Um, so we can just do here, I'll just return negative one and see that gets us good all right so already we've gotten through two of the use cases down to one and this one I'm gonna say if the number is equal to the array zero well then let's return zero hopefully that should get us a little farther uh, it doesn't it actually gets us to the beginning because the first thing is null so if the array dot length is zero, uh, then we need to return zero or negative one. So let's assume true if it's done. That should get us a little bit farther. And it does. Gets us uh, through two more cases to where we're coming to the middle. Now, to do this properly, let's extract that or extract that as a local. Um, got a little bit higher than I wanted. We should actually start in the middle of the array. Uh, that was what the kata was actually asking us to do. So we'll just start in the middle there. And let's run that again. And you see now we're actually moving up the trace. So here we start in three. We need to get down to one. So let's continue on here. Um, so if the number is less than the array of position, then we're going to need to chop again. And still looking for the same number, still have the same array, but now we need to start at zero and end at the position number. And we'll just run that. Create the method. This should be the start, and that should be the end. Cool. And this is going to look pretty much the same as what we have here. So I'm just going to clone that it into here and 
now we're no longer doing the length. We're doing uh, it's going to be n minus start. That really is not all I wanted. And if it's equal, we're good. And if we're not, so let's try that out. Uh, except for here, oh, yep, it's all good. Let's try that for that one. Cool. Uh, good. We got a little bit farther. We're now getting to the five. So the thing with the five is that we need to go up. So we did down, time to do it up. And this is really, again, the same type of thing, except for now we're starting at our position set one. And we're going to the end, so we'll go to that one. And since we've got an else now, we no longer need that. Expected to was my n. Okay. Ah, because we're not going up here. So the same as we got this here, we got to handle it down here too. And now we're going to n, which really means here this should be going up and start. So let's see how we're doing here. N is off my bio. Okay. Getting to the end then. Okay. Stack overflow. And when you get these kind of things, it's usually very helpful to get some information. So I'm going to do a sys out here. Um, just looking for a little bit more feedback than our tests are actually providing us at this moment. What I'd like to know is just sort of what is my state. So I've got a number here uh, in an array. Starting at uh, my position and going from start to finish. So let's see here. I've got a number. Array, you have to use arrays.toString uh, because there is no good arrays.toString. Because there is no good toString on the actual array object itself. The position, the start, and so let's run that, see if we can get a little more insight. Good. Uh, so here, we have a range that's already at the end. So we can just exit early here. So if uh, start is the end, then we know that we haven't found it. So we can just run that here again. And is less than or equal to the start. Okay, still overflowing. Uh, so we're overflowing here. We're looking for five, and we're at zero. And then we go to one. We're at zero. from two to three. Ah, right. Here, we didn't start at the plus. Let's see how we're doing here. We're good. Everything's passing. I no longer need that thing that was just giving me a little bit of feedback. And you can now see as we're cleaning up the last, we got this massive piece of duplication sitting in here. This is really just the same as if we had called chop again with the number, the array, the start is going to be zero, and the end is going to be a way back length. And that should be passing. Great. Well, hope you guys enjoy that little piece of kata.